Hey, welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, as I've talked about on the show that I'm originally from Utah with my first place here in America. And I, you know, was heavily involved with the Mormon faith there because that was the, the state, really. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of issues that came along with that. And I decided just before I left there that I wanted to do a little short documentary. And it was this year, was released at Sundance Film Festival. So I wanted to share with you all. And it's just now been put on Amazon. Take a look. I want to ask them, have you ever sat with them and had a dialogue with them how it is to be gay and particularly in the LDS community? When I came out, my, I kind of felt as if my family had to come out as well. And if I needed to stand up to the church, whatever I needed to do, Patty's got me in her corner. We had been on Facebook having a dialogue with friends about um, whether or not gay people should be allowed to marry, and I had seen a lot of animosity and hatred and I just was so scared of what her future would be like. How would my life have been different if I was born in a place where I couldn't be myself? Where parents choose religion over their children. Instead of fighting judgment with anger, I wanted to learn why they had the thoughts that they had about gay people. But when it's your own child, it's you want the best for them. Coming out um, has been not without its challenges, but I believe as a family we're closer. My wish for Caden is my wish for every one of my children. It's to be happy, it's to have a family, it's to feel great about himself. So yeah. Yeah. It was something that, you know, being, I was also the first openly gay man on Utah TV, which was in the end okay, but the very beginning of my career there, you know, I kept it to myself, but I'd go into shops where mm -hmm. people would abuse me, people... Um, what do you mean they would abuse well, you? Well, they would um, tell me where to go and go back to Australia and stop sprinkling fairy dust yeah. all over our community yeah. and other vicious little things which you don't want to say on TV but right. what was the turning point when I was at a store and this I was on the edge do you mm -hmm. know what I mean like I didn't really know what was happening to me because I come from a country where people don't care mm -hmm. it's no big deal and this man came up to me and he said hey are you and I didn't drop to the ground but I thought he had a gun and oh, wow. that was the level of fear of that point. No, mm -hmm. he didn't have a gun, but I was, that's my point of being, I was on edge the whole time. Mm -hmm. Until, you know, people got to know me, I got to understand the Mormon faith, and then I started thinking how hard it was for people who grew up Mormon mm -hmm. and who couldn't come out, because the Mormon faith is basically, um, is against homosexual marriage. They're not against you being a homosexual. Okay. They just say you can't live the homosexual life. Mm -hmm. So these kids that, you know, who grew up, who grew up gay are basically, um, you know, turned away from their families. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so the family has to decide then at that yeah. point. Yeah. So okay. what did you learn through going through this whole process? Um, a lot of, I learned a lot about myself and I've realized that, and it's something I've always known, Heavenly Father does love everyone. You know, God doesn't tell you to hate gay people or hate lesbians or it's the people that put everything together here on earth mm -hmm. that put those thoughts into your mm -hmm. mind, not, not um, Heavenly Father. But um, I learned uh, to be a little bit more tolerant. Mm -hmm. You know, I was funny because people used to say to me back home in Australia that they thought I was homophobic. You know, they said, you're the gayest man who's homophobic. <laughs> and because I didn't have a lot of gay friends, mm -hmm. you know. But, and it wasn't, s and it's not that I don't like gay people. Right. I just didn't mix in that world, uh -huh. you know. So, yeah, I just learned to be a little bit more tolerant. So what do you myself. think that people can do um, in their own communities, maybe to bring more tolerance or awareness? Have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, don't let the um, judgments pass on from your family or your friends or your cousins or your family. Mm -hmm. And do you think people learn that from this documentary? If people are curious maybe about that world or what it's like, 
do you think this is something they should go online to watch to get kind of a window into that world and yeah, the challenges I, people face? I think it is, Katie, and I really do think, you know, it's a, it's a chance for you to hear that faith, mm -hmm. it's okay to still be faithful mm -hmm. and believe in, in God mm -hmm. and still live your life right, as truthful you as you can be to yourself. So that's what I did. Well, we're really yeah. proud of you, Troy. And big news, it's available on Amazon. It so we is. want to put that information up on the screen for you. Go over, check out the trailer again. You posted that on our Facebook page. It's on Instagram, Amazon. There's the site there. And, of course, we'll s you can find the link on the Facebook page. Yes.